really caring about the characters in this one. Which... So I got those and I've been wearing those for probably two years at this point. I was like, you know, I've never checked that section of Trader Joe's out. I'm using it again in addition to the planner that I showed you a couple videos back. I'm... Yeah, but first things first, we gotta figure out our food situation. I normally do not sleep in like that, um, but the alarm went off and apparently I should go back to sleep. It's Sunday and so James just let me sleep. Obviously I needed to sleep. And yeah, that's how I look like. <laughs> like this. But anyway, welcome to a Sunday reset. Obviously the first step in the Sunday reset was sleeping in and, you know, resting. James just made us some breakfast. The house isn't too bad today, so that's the nice thing is I will be able to get it all done and tidy and whatever. We have some grocery shopping to do. We have a couple of places we need to go, like we need new tennis shoes because we're going out of town this weekend and where we're going, I'm going to need nice shoes and my tennis shoes are falling apart. It actually gave me a blister so I haven't been able to do like our big major walk because my shoe is in blisters and it's, it's like a whole thing. Anyway, so I've got to do that and then I need to go see if I can find the nice shampoo that I've been using that I got on our cruise. I think they have it at all. It's not going to be a big grocery day today because we are leaving Thursday to go out of town and then we'll come home Sunday. I'll be home Monday and then I turn around and leave for a week or maybe maybe more than a week. We're kind of still figuring out what the deal is with that, but yeah, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy the next couple of weeks. So I have a lot to get done this week and we just need to reset for the week. Like I said, the first step in resetting was apparently me just sleeping in until 1030. It is what it is. I normally don't sleep in this late. I can't tell you the last time I slept until 10.30. Anyway, but obviously my body was just like, you need rest. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what we're having for breakfast. We're gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna get ready for the day because obviously I, yeah. And then we're gonna go do all the, the things. All right, so here's what James made us for breakfast. We have some hash browns, a scrambled egg, and half of a chicken apple sausage. And then we top it with the salsa from Trader Joe's. Apparently he already topped this one. This must be his and then I can top mine with that. But yeah, that's what we have been eating for breakfast. It's pretty low on Weight Watchers because I think the hash browns are like one point. Egg is zero. Half of this chicken apple sausage is three points and this is zero points. So I think in total this is four points. So it's a low point option. It's also pretty clean ingredients because this chicken apple sausage is Whole30 approved and I think this salsa doesn't have any sugar in it. So it's, it's a pretty clean meal as well. So it'd basically be paleo. It wouldn't really be paleo because it has the hash browns and technically potatoes aren't paleo, but they are Whole30. So it'd be like a Whole30 situation here. So, all right, we're going to eat some breakfast and then get ready for the day. Next weekend. So you can have jammy Jesus, right? Bed Springs Jesus. You can have beach Jesus. You can have Saturday afternoon Jesus because all of the services are going to be available starting on Thursday and then going through the entire weekend. So whenever it fits into your schedule, Go to church next weekend, right? All right, you guys. So I have showered, gotten ready for the day, and we have been going through our kitchen and figuring out what we want to eat this week. We only need dinners for tonight, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because Thursday we're going to be on the road. So yeah. So we don't need a lot this week, honestly. So we're gonna sit down, make our list, plan out our meals, figure out what we need to get at the grocery store. And then like I said, we need to go to Dick's Sporting Goods because actually I forgot James also needs some new shoes. So we both need new shoes. And then I wanna go to Ulta and see if they have my shampoo. I was like, what is that? What is that word? Anyway, so we have a little bit of like running to do, running to, that sounds so funny. We're gonna take a car. We're not actually gonna run. It's too hot, it's too hot for that. Hopefully my car, um, wants to use its air today. It's been having some issues and so it's, you never know what you're gonna get, if you're gonna get air conditioning or not. So far it's been working and behaving, but you just never know. James is gonna look at it hopefully before we leave on Thursday. Anyway, so we're gonna do that and then we need to tidy our house, which actually really isn't that bad. That's what we need to do the dishes. We need to do the dishes, make our bed, vacuum, and that's really it because I did a bunch of cleaning on Thursday. So pretty easy Sunday reset and then I think we might hang out with friends later. We're just kind of waiting to hear like their schedule for the evening. Yeah, it's gonna, it, it, this is probably gonna be a short video. So we're just gonna take you along with us for our day. And, but first things first, we gotta figure out our food situation. So let's get on it. All 
All right, so we just made our list of all the places we need to go, the things we need to get. Our grocery haul looks, or our grocery haul, our grocery list looks so sad this week, but it's just because we have a bunch of stuff left over because there was some stuff that happened like this week where we unexpectedly ate out and whatever. It's fine, life, it happens. So anyway, we have all that stuff left over, so we don't really need to get anything at the grocery store. Like we need a few things. It's just kind of like, a little restock, like a mini restock, and not really a full-on grocery haul. So, gonna be very sad, but I could probably do the grocery haul that no one wants. I could probably just do one video instead of two, because literally at Publix we need like two things. It's kind of nice though, because then it gives us a break on like spending, so we don't have to spend as much, especially since we're gonna have to go buy shoes. It's fine. It's nice to use what we have, and I'm grateful that we have that stuff already in there, so we just need to use it. That's the plan. We're gonna head out now. First stop will be Dick's Sporting Goods to get some shoes and then Ulta to see if they have my shampoo. And then we'll head to Trader Joe's and wrap it up with Publix. Let's get our shopping done. Body scrub that I got. I tried it this morning. It smells really good. All right, we just made it home. We went to, let me see if I can remember. Went to Ulta, did not find what I needed there, so that was kind of a fail. Went to Dick's Sporting Goods, which I did get a new pair of shoes and I'll show them to you in a minute. We went to Sam's Club because we just wanted a cheap slice of pizza for lunch, so we did that. Then we went to Trader Joe's and then to Publix. So, I just finished filming the grocery hauls that nobody asked for short form content. So I'm gonna sh just kinda give you a quick overview of everything. But if you guys like grocery hauls, definitely check out those shorts because they're so much fun to make, so much fun to watch. <laughs> like, I love them and I show you everything that we get at the grocery store every single week. So definitely check that out. But I'm gonna give you a quick overview of everything that we got today. It wasn't a lot because I think I told you guys this before we left the grocery store, but we have stuff in here. Like, we, we are good. We didn't need a lot. We just needed like a few things to go with those things, if that makes sense. It's just a mini restock. It's not a full on grocery shop kind of thing. Grocery shopping was super easy this week and very inexpensive because we didn't get a lot. So, I mean, Trader Joe's is always like decently priced. So, you know, we don't normally spend a ton of money there, but even less this week. And I added two, two or three things that were not on the list, so. Anyway, let me just show you guys real quick. All right, so we went to Publix and we went to Trader Joe's. We literally picked up three things at Publix and everything else is Trader Joe's. So this, I do wanna talk about this. So I was trying to find a low point spaghetti. We've been using the cassava flour pasta. Last week we used the Miracle Noodle. I showed it in, did I show it in the vidi in like the Sunday reset or did I show it in just the shorts? I don't know. It was not very good. So I would not recommend it. It was zero points on Weight Watchers, but it was gross. So I wouldn't recommend. I do like the cassava flour pasta, but it's five points per serving. And this was only four points per serving. So granted, you're only saving a point, but I figured why not try it out? We have the spaghetti sauce and stuff left over from Thursday night's dinner where we hated the actual pasta. So. We have some left over, so I'm gonna cook up some spaghetti. We can probably have that for dinner tonight before we go hang out with friends. We got our Fairlife fat-free milk. What else did we get? Oh, and we got chicken apple sausages and all that's from Publix. Everything else is from Trader Joe's. I did pick up a few new things, like I'm gonna try out their dry shampoo. I did not know they sold dry shampoo, so I'm gonna try this because I'm always on the hunt for a good dry shampoo and hopefully this one's good. I also got this rose water facial toner because somebody that I watch on YouTube, like all of her uh, skincare is from Trader Joe's. I was like, you know, I've never checked that section of Trader Joe's out. Let me go check it out. And so I'm gonna try this and see what I think about it. And then, you know, the usual, the usual guys. I love these things so stinking much. So, and the strawberry ones I can report back are really good too, but I, I think, 
I don't know. I think the green tea is still my favorite, but the strawberry one's really good too. Anyway, I'm gonna put these away. We have dishes to do. What else do we need to do here? Hang out with these crazy dogs. Yeah, rub, 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 rub your belly. Can you rub it? Rub, 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 rub your belly. Oh, you're gonna stop now? You gonna stop doing your trick that you know? Okay, anyway, we just have to tidy up the living room. We've got their bones hiding up there because they keep fighting over them. Um, so we need to, I wish I had caught that on I camera. Oh. I think I was, it, maybe I did. Maybe I did just watch her fall off the couch. That was pretty funny. So anyway, we need to vacuum. But everything else is pretty clean. We do need to make our bed in the bedroom. But otherwise, we've done a pretty nice job of keeping this place clean, right? Yes. Right. At some point today, I do want to go over planning out my week and showing you guys my process with doing that. I have been using Notion for probably two years at this point, and I kind of stopped using it for a while, and now I'm using it again in addition to the planner that I showed you a couple videos back. I'm still using and loving my planner, but I use Notion. Well, I guess I've technically I never really stopped using Notion because I've been using it to plan out my YouTube videos, but I've also been trying to make like uh, just a brain dump of what I need to get done for the week in there and then adding it to my planner like every day when I wake up filling out my planner for the day so that way I know what I'm focusing on for the day but like with Notion I have it more as like these things need to get done and here's where I'd like them to get done kind of thing you know at some point I need to sit down and do that so that way we can truly reset for the week anyway I'm gonna put the groceries away and then we will tidy real quick we have not heard from our friends so I don't know if we are doing something or not doing something I don't know we're just kind of like waiting to see what we're doing. If we don't hang out with them, we'll probably just have a chill night at home. But if we do hang out with them, I don't know, we've, we've thrown around a couple ideas of like what we would do, but we'll probably end up watching a movie or something. So it's kind of crazy because there's not a lot to reset because I did a good job of keeping the house clean, mainly because I wasn't here like all day Friday and most of the day yesterday, but you know. I still kept it clean. That's the important thing. We're focusing on that, not on I kept it clean because I wasn't home. <laughs> I'm gonna go put the groceries away now. Okay, before I put my groceries away, I forgot I, I did tell you I was gonna show you my shoes I got. I'll just show you one of them because they look the same, but I got these, so hang on a second. And they're like a light gray color, and then this part is white. Well, actually this part's like kind of gray, and then it gets to white, but anyway. And then it's like brown on the bottom, and I, have these exact same pair, but they are black. And when I got them, I didn't really want a black shoe. I wanted it to be white, and I almost got the white pair today. So when I first got these shoes, could not find them anywhere. I couldn't find like just a plain colored one. Like they have, I don't know if you've ever seen these type of shoes of the Hoka, hookah, I don't know how to say them. Anyway, they have like all kinds of crazy colors, but I'm like, th those don't match with anything. They like, don't match with any outfit unless you're wearing like all black or all white. It just doesn't go <laughs> with the outfit, you know? So I'm like, I don't want that. I want like something that can kind of go with everything I'm wearing. So I either need it to be black or white or like this gray color works, you know? And so when I was originally looking for them, all we could find were the black ones. And so they had black on black or they had black on white. So I ended up getting the black on white ones and I didn't love the way they look because they're also a wide shoe. I didn't really love the way they looked, but I was like, I need a good shoe because I was having a lot of pain, in my feet, and I just have a lot of issues with my, my feet, my back, my hips. It's, I'm kind of a mess. But anyway, so I needed a good solid shoe for that. So I got those and I've been wearing those for probably two years at this point. I think I got them like two years ago, but I've obviously worn down the bottom. Then like this back part here is coming like, it's getting all messed up, so it's giving me blisters, and it's just time to invest in new shoes. But I hate buying new shoes because they're expensive. But James keeps reminding me that it's still cheaper than like going and dealing with like having foot problems if they help, you know? And they do help whenever I have new ones that aren't worn down, so. Anyway, it was time to get some new ones because we are going on a weekend trip somewhere where I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking. And just on top of that, like I said, my other ones are giving me blisters. So I had a really bad blister on the back of my foot and we couldn't do like our morning walk slash run because I couldn't put on my tennis shoes for like a week. So it was just time. It was time to invest in some new ones. So I got the gray ones. I know that was a long explanation, but I got these and it like almost, it's gray, but it's so light that it, you know, from far away kind of looks like it's white. And I'm excited to have some new shoes and that they're not black. I don't know why, like, it's not that I have an issue with black shoes. It's just, it seems so dark 
So like, especially because I wear like these black biker shorts all the time, I have multiple pairs, don't worry, I'm not wearing the same pair every single day. But because I have those, it's just like, this is black, my my feet are black, it's like so dark looking that I'm like, I need, I need something, but I don't want all those crazy colors, because it doesn't go, you know? The struggle. Anyway, these are the shoes I got. <laughs> Long story short, these are the shoes I got. I will try to link them for you guys in case you are interested in checking them out. Like I said, I have been using this same type of shoe, just different color, for the past two years and it really has helped with all of my issues with my feet and I, I mean I still have issues but not as bad as it used to be so my feet don't really hurt as much when I do a lot of walking like I said I will link them for you guys down below but that's the shoe that I got well I got two of them but I'm just showing you one all right enough rambling I need to put this stuff away so we can actually reset for the week <laughs> been chilling it is seven o'clock now we're not hanging out with anybody tonight so we can just chill at home which is kind of nice because I feel like we've been so go 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 and the week coming up is gonna be busy and then I'm gonna be gone for basically two weeks so I'm just like I really just a chill night at home sounds nice so it all worked out but I mean don't get me wrong I love hanging out with my friends but a night at home is nice too so anyway we're gonna make some spaghetti we're gonna use this whole wheat or no not whole wheat whole grain pasta. We already have the pasta sauce and the meatballs mixed with some zucchini in the fridge because we had spaghetti Thursday night with like that miracle noodle stuff that I would not recommend. Um, just, just use the points. Don't try to go zero point for that because it was gross, right? That pasta was gross. Yep. Yeah, it was not. Mm, we do not recommend. Anyway, so we're gonna make, a, we're not gonna do the whole box of spaghetti, obviously. We're just gonna do what we need for tonight because we just wanna use up the pasta sauce that we still have. So we're gonna do that for dinner. And then after dinner, I think James is gonna play video games tonight. So I will show you guys how I set up Notion. I'll probably do like a screen recording and then voiceover. I don't know, I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna show you guys how I reset for the week, but I'm definitely going to share with you guys how I reset like planning wise. Cause I normally don't share that. Normally in Sunday resets, I just clean and grocery shop. So I'm like, I don't really show you guys how I'm actually like resetting for the week in terms of planning and figuring out how to accomplish everything that I need to throughout the week. So that's that. <laughs> Anyway, but now I'm just waiting for this pot of water to boil. A watched pot never boils. So anyway, yeah, that's that. All right, guys, so we did the spaghetti. It's, you can't really see it, it's down there, down there. And then I topped it with the pasta sauce, meatballs, and zucchini from the other night. So now we hopefully will have good pasta and not that nasty pasta. <laughs> so anyway, this is what we're having for dinner. We're gonna go watch some TV, chill for a little bit, and then I will share with you guys how I'm gonna plan out my week. All right, you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I plan out my week in Notion. But I think instead of doing a screen recording, 
I'm just going to use my camera and show you guys. I'm going to angle it where hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. So hang on. Let me do that. All right. So I have my content calendar right here. And as you guys can see, there's like a ton of stuff because I will post or I will put my YouTube videos, but then I'll also put my shorts and I will give a like more detailed look at that. So right now I have stuff that's been filmed. So it's been, if it's been filmed, I mark it as it's in editing. Um, so this one right here, I'm going to have to mark as in editing. And this is a YouTube video on my YouTube channel. So then when I do that, it then pops up, tells me that I'm editing. I know it's like hard to see because it's far away, but like I said, I will actually show you guys in a second what I've got going on here. But so anyway, this is my content calendar. Let me show you guys a close up. All right, so like this, we have, if it hasn't been filmed, it's just an idea. So there's a couple ideas. Those are YouTube shorts, which doesn't show on here, but if I were to click on it, I have it listed as a YouTube short and it's going on YouTube. Here's like all the videos. I'll, I do long form content and then shorts. And the long form content is usually Tuesdays and Fridays, so I know everything else is just a YouTube short. So that's how I kind of figure all of that out. I know the lighting is not like the best, but anyway, so. That's kind of how I do the content creation side of things. I got this layout from somebody I really don't remember, but if I can think of it, I will link it for you guys because I want to give credit. I just don't remember who did this. But then I have like my dashboard and so it has like my weekly plans. So last week was kind of crazy, but I did post or I mean, I did like have some stuff listed out here um, and I uploaded that. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just create, I'm going to duplicate. I can share with you guys. So, um, I think I should put in here, let's see, 624 through six, it'd be the 30th, right? It's the last week of June. There we go. So I put that there. I have like this quote that was, because this also was a template that I found from somebody else and they already had that there, but I think it's a good quote. So I will just leave it. So my priorities this week are still gonna be the same as last week. Um, this week, I'm gonna have two different YouTube videos. I gotta see what I'm uploading this week. Let's see, I have a weekend vlog and then a Sunday reset. So I can put that in here. Weekend vlog. And then this one is a Sunday reset from last week's. So I'm a couple weeks behind, not behind on posting. This video isn't gonna go up for a couple weeks. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so those are my priorities. Those are my videos that I have going up. These are, like I have my weight tracker here. My July goals here, I've already tried to start thinking about my July goals. I haven't started, like I haven't done my July reset, but I'm just kind of thinking things out and seeing what I want to put as my goals. And then what I will do is I will just kind of brain dump and start typing out stuff that I want to do for the week. And then as the week goes on, I can easily just move these things around. So I like that. So this is kind of like my little brain dump of what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. And then like when I add something new, I can just hit enter and that little box comes back up. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and brain dump my ideas. I usually just do it Monday through Friday since those are my work days. But if I had something going on, I could add Saturday and Sunday easily. But for right now, I just need my Monday through Friday. And this week for Friday, we're actually going to be out of town. So I really don't even need Friday for this week. But I'm still just going to leave it there. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out. And then I will show you guys when it's done. All right, you guys, um, let me see if I can turn the brightness down a little bit. Kind of hard to see in this lighting, but anyway. So yeah, basically I have just put all of the work-related tasks in here. And I also put water my plants because I need to remember to do that every single day this week, but especially on Thursday because we will be leaving for the weekend. And then anything that I wasn't sure what day it was gonna get done goes over here in weekly tasks. And I feel like there's probably more that I want to put in here, but it might come to me tomorrow. So I can, you know, 
always work on this throughout the week, but I just tried to kind of brain dump all of the work-related tasks that I have to get done before we leave on Thursday. So there's a lot of filming and editing happening this week because I want to have my content prepped for when I'm gone. I'm going to be gone for, let's see, we're gonna be gone, we leave the 27th, get back home late on the 30th. I'm here for July 1st, so I have to make the most of like that day. And then I fly out here and come back maybe here um, on the 9th, but it might be later. I don't know, I'm still working out the details. So I ha that means that I have to get not only this week's videos done, but I also need to get the other three for while I'm gone. So for the second, fifth and the ninth. So the nice thing about the ninth is if I just take my laptop, I can actually edit the whole time I'm at the lake. And when I get back to my parents' house on, I guess technically I'll get back here, but I can use their internet to actually upload it for the next day. So if I don't get this one done, it's not that big of a deal, but I definitely have to get the second and fifths done. Well, if I don't get the fifths done, I can edit it here on the first, but I'm trying to do a lot of stuff on the first because I'm gonna be gone for so long. So anyway, that's the story with that. So there's a lot of filming, editing, uploading going on. It's a full work situation. But anyway, that's how I plan it all out in no my Notion. I'd like to organize this more and I'm, I've kind of been like looking for different templates and stuff that I like, but this is the one that I've been using for a long time. So I really need to sit down and really <laughs> make it my own and go through it and anyway but for today this is like how i did this and then what i like to do is i've shown you guys this was last week's I, I life happened last week this was what happens when life happens but so this week i did because james has this has every other friday off so a lot of times i don't do stuff but I will fill it out by category like the morning of. So I'll get up tomorrow and I will write down my routines that I want to do, the YouTube stuff I need to do, the social media stuff I need to do, cleaning, fitness, any miscellaneous tasks like water the plants. Sometimes I'll have, you know, feed my sourdough, do my nails, read my book, and then my UGC and Etsy work um, goes over here. So yeah, that's kind of how I do that. But I don't really do this ahead of time. I will mostly do this Monday morning and if it's something that I know like routine that I do every single day then I will write it when I do it on Monday but if not I'll just kind of fill it out as the week goes on and so that's how I do that and then I don't really do anything with the monthly which I probably should but I don't want to write out my YouTube videos because things change a lot which is why I like to do them in Notion so all of my like content creation content ideas content calendar oops wrong one um, it all goes in here and the nice thing is a lot of times like the YouTube shorts There's stuff I post on TikTok and Instagram reels as well Most of the time TikTok and Instagram see it before YouTube does because I try to only post one a day on YouTube Whereas sometimes I'm posting multiple things on like sometimes I'm posting multiple things on Instagram and TikTok But I really try to only limit it to one new piece of content on YouTube because I don't want to like overload YouTube so Anyway, that's that's how I do it. So we are set for the week. I have my weekly plans, lots to do this week, and I'm sure that's not even everything. I didn't even put like my exercise stuff in here or anything like that. This is mainly just work-related tasks or different things around the house that I know I need to do or, you know, every day I know I need to water my plants. <laughs> So yeah, that's how I do that. I probably should have screen recorded it because you know, you would have been able to really see it better, I guess. But I, it has been a long time since I've had to screen record on my computer. And I think the software that I like is actually on that computer right now. So we're making it work. We're making it work. Um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I do that, or if you want to see me like really customize it because I want to go in and like change things and whatever, let me know if you want to see that. But for the sake of today's video, that is is what has ha what is happening. So anyway, I think now I'm going to go read my book. I, hang on, I should show you my book because I've been talking to you guys about books. Hang on. All right, guys, so this is the book that I'm currently reading. It's The Coworker by Frida McFadden because I'm just in a, in a Frida moment. But I am on page 147. I have not read in a couple of days, so I really need to get back to it. You guys like my little shark bookmark? Um, anyway, 
so I really need to get through this because I need to film a book review slash short slash whatever on this before I leave so I really need to finish this one so I can do that um, it's good but it's not it's not been my favorite it's not been one that I'm like I can't put down whereas like the inmate was pretty good like I wanted to read that every night um, one by one the teacher you know those though like it's it's not bad I just have had a hard time really caring about the characters in this one which sounds so bad I don't know what it is but I'm just like eh. I don't know how I feel about these characters so it is starting to get like pretty interesting so I do want to finish it obviously but I'm not gonna finish it tonight but hopefully I can make a big dent in that and then kind of read throughout the week and finish it but yeah that's my book talk I went to Target and made an Amazon list while I was standing in Target of all the books that I want to read so I've got like a whole list so hopefully we can knock out those 25 books that I want to read this year um, but yeah, this is the book I'm currently reading. Like I said, it's not bad, but it's just, I think the thing that's hard for me to get into with this book is a lot of the chapters are written from the character who's missing. So you don't really get to, you don't really get introduced to her. You just get to read her emails that she sent people. So it's hard to kind of, you know, I mean, you can get to know her through that, but it's just, it's a weird way to do that. But then also because it's written email style, it's just weird. I just don't love that. But you know, so it's, it's weird because it's not current time and it's, she's kind of, not really an interesting character. I mean, she is and she isn't, you know? So I think that that makes it harder to get into. And then the other, the coworker who's like searching for her is getting on my nerves. Like she, some, you, you can't figure out if she's like a nice person or a jerk, you know what I mean? And she's just kinda, I'm like, mm. So there's that, there's my little talk about that. I'll, I'll have a whole book review for you guys. So you can kind of, hear more of my thoughts on that. I guess it it's not a whole book review. It's a one minute like short talking about it. But hopefully this book gets better. Maybe it's just one of those that you have to just keep going um, and it ends up getting better. I don't know. Maybe I'll love the characters at the end of the book. Maybe I'll hate them. I don't know. But for me, it's just not as exciting as the inmate or one by one or the teacher. Those, those three, I, I would even say never lie is, is better than this one because this one, I don't know. The characters. I'm just not vibing with the characters in this one so it's making it a little more challenging to read. It's not challenging to read but you know what I mean. It's challenging to get into and you know but anyway that's that. That's the book I'm reading. I'm gonna go read that. Try to like plug along through it and unwind for the night. That is my Sunday reset for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was, I feel like a bit shorter of a reset just because I didn't wake up until late today and kind of had a slow start. But honestly, you know, sometimes you need that slow morning. You need that reset in your life. And especially with this week and how crazy it's going to be. And then I'm going to be gone basically for two weeks. It's, it was nice to just have that like chill morning where we could watch church at home i could just relax and then we could go get groceries tidy up the house which was mostly tidy anyway and we didn't vacuum but it's fine and then just kind of have a chill night it was really nice to do that so now i'm gonna continue the chill vibes read my book get ready for the week and i will catch you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys